You don't need to be Tony Stark to understand your PC, but hey, it doesn't hurt to pretend while I explain all the parts. In a PC, the CPU and the motherboard are like a bickering married couple. One's the brain, other's the backbone, and trust me, you can't function without either. So here's the deal. Computers aren't magical boxes that just work. They're made up of very real, very specific parts. And today I'm going to explain all eight of them like you're five. No tech degree needed, no confusing specs, just plain simple talk. Let's break it down piece by piece. All right, let's start with the one piece that connects everything, the motherboard. Think of the motherboard like the city infrastructure, the roads, the power lines, the Wi-Fi towers, everything that connects buildings and makes a city work. That's what the motherboard does inside your computer. Every part of your PC plugs into this thing. Your CPU sits on it like royalty. RAM fits into neat little slots. Your GPU parks in a garage-sized PCIe slot. SSDs, HDDs, Wi-Fi cards, even fans, they all connect here. Without a motherboard, your parts are just expensive decorations. And no, the name doesn't mean there's a father board out there, although that would explain why my PC keeps telling me it's disappointed in me. Jokes aside, the motherboard is what allows all your components to talk to each other. It distributes power, transfers data, and provides ports for USBs, sound, and more. Meet the boss of the operation, the CPU. If your computer were a body, the CPU would be the brain. It does the thinking, the calculating, the decision-making, opening a browser, that's the CPU, loading a game, CPU, doing math homework in Excel while watching cat videos in 1080p. Yeah, the CPU is working overtime. CPUs come with multiple cores, which are basically mini brains inside the brain. The more cores, the more stuff your CPU can handle at once. Think of it like having more cooks in the kitchen. If you're gaming or doing light editing, a mid-range CPU like a Ryzen 5 or Intel i5 is plenty. If you're streaming, editing 4K, or doing hardcore multitasking, you'll want more cores and threads. Imagine trying to plan a party. The CPU is you, making the guest list, ordering the pizza, playing DJ, but if you only had one core, you'd have to do everything one by one. More cores equals more use equals faster party planning. All right, so the CPU handles the brains, but what about the looks? That's where the GPU comes in. This is the artist in the family. This one's for the gamers, video editors, and anyone who wants smooth graphics. The GPU is the artist of your computer. It takes all the raw data and turns it into images on your screen playing games, watching videos, rendering 3D animations. The GPU handles the visuals, so your CPU doesn't have to. There are two types. Integrated GPUs, built into the CPU, good for basic tasks. Dedicated GPUs, like Nvidia and AMD cards, great for heavy lifting. If you're just browsing the web or watching YouTube, integrated graphics are fine. But if you want to game or edit video, a dedicated GPU is a must. All right, now that your PC can think and draw, how does it remember things in the moment? Time to talk about RAM. RAM is your computer's short-term memory. It doesn't store things forever, just the stuff you're using right now. Think of RAM like your desk. The bigger the desk, the more books and notes you can keep open at once. If it's too small, you'll constantly have to put things away and get them back out, which slows everything down. Eight gigabytes of RAM is good for basic tasks. 16 gigabytes is great for gaming or multitasking. 32 gigabytes plus is ideal for editing, streaming, or just flexing. RAM doesn't save your files. That's not its job. It just helps your PC work faster while you're doing things. Speaking of saving files, where do all your photos, videos, and memes actually live? Time to meet your SSD and HHD. Storage is your long-term memory. HDD, hard disk drive, the older one, has moving parts like a record player. Slower but cheaper and holds more. SSD, solid state drive, the new kid, no moving parts, way faster, more reliable, but pricier. Your operating system, your games, your embarrassing files, they all live here. Get both. Use an SSD for your OS and apps, super fast boot times, and an HDD for big storage, photos, games, backups. HDD is like a big filing cabinet. SSD is like having everything saved instantly in your phone. But wait, none of this runs without power. Let's plug it all into the PSU. 
The PSU is the heart of your PC. It pumps electricity to every component. Wattage matters. Too little and your PC won't turn on. Too much and you've overspent. Use an online PSU calculator to find the right wattage based on your parts. Get a reputable brand with an 80 plus rating. Don't power your gaming rig with the energy equivalent uh, of a potato. And last but not least, let's cool things down. Computers get hot, that's just science. Fans move hot air out, and heat sinks absorb heat from CPUs or GPUs. Think of it like AC for your computer. And yes, water cooling exists for when you want your PC to look like it came from a Fast and Furious movie. There are three types of cooling. Case fans, CPU coolers, air or liquid. GPU fans, usually built in. At least one intake and one exhaust fan equals good airflow. If you're overclocking or running hot hardware, consider aftermarket cooling. Imagine running a marathon in a parka. That's your CPU without good cooling. So there you have it, eight computer parts explained in plain English. Now, when someone says your PSU is underpowered or you need more RAM, you won't just nod and smile, or you'll actually get it. If you found this video helpful, give it a like and subscribe for more Tech Made Simple. Got questions? Drop them in the comments. And hey, go impress someone with your new nerd knowledge today.